Okay, uh, in, in Unit 3, one of the uh, big skills that you need to have, uh, again, goes back to chemical reactions, and we'll start with uh, balancing, and then we'll also talk about classifying, and then we'll go finally to mole-mole ratios. All right, so uh, to balance, reminding you just that we have to have conservation of each kind and type of atom uh, by number and type. So, for example, I'm going to notice on this reaction right here that there's three carbons, so I'm going to come over here and place a three, and we'll kind of go from there. There's four hydro or eight hydrogens there, so they're two at a time over here. I'm going to need a coefficient of four. Uh, now I'm all left with uh, balancing the oxygen, so there's six here and four more. So that's a total of ten oxygens, and so I need a coefficient of five here to balance that out. Uh, next reaction is uh, what we would call a synthesis reaction. We're putting two types of elements together or two substances together to make a bigger or more complex type of molecule, so a synthesis. We'll write that off to the side here. And again, I'm going to notice some things. First of all, I'm going to notice that uh, the nitrogen has two atoms here, only one there. I'm going to bring a two in for a coefficient. That then leaves me six hydrogens, so coming back to the other side, coefficient of three should balance. Uh, this reaction here, we have an element reacting with a compound and a new compound and a different element produced. So it's appearing like this element comes in and replaces or knocks out the iodine from the original compound, so we call it a replacement. And there's only one kind of replacement going on, so we call it a single replacement reaction. And now to balance, uh, I'm just going to notice that there's two bromines here only one in the compound sodium bromide, so I'm going to bring a two in there. That gives me two sodiums, so to make it so on the other side, two there, and then that will balance the iodine, two iodines, two iodines. Finally, the last reaction, you'll notice it looks like everybody switched partners. The lead was with nitrate, the aluminum was with sulfate, and now the lead goes off with the sulfate here, the aluminum goes off with the nitrate, and so that's a double replacement. And I'm not going to write that out. Okay, so now to balance, uh, first thing I might notice would be that I have two nitrates here and three on the other side, and many of you learned this trick earlier in the year, to balance a two against a three, we need to go to the lowest common factor of six, so I'm going to need a coefficient of three here to make that happen, and a coefficient of two over here. And then I'm going to start checking. This leaves me three leads. So I need to place a three here. That makes me want to check sulfate, SO4. That's three units of sulfate. I have three already over here. And the last thing I need to check is aluminum, two aluminums, and two aluminums. So it's all balanced out. The first reaction we forgot to mention is a decomposition, or some people might call it a combustion reaction. It's really, uh, it could be categorized as either one here, but more broadly as a decomposition. The last thing we need to do is look at mole ratios, and so to do that, I'm just going to pick on maybe the first reaction. We would say that if I were to react one mole of propane, I would need to react also five moles of oxygen. So I could do that in any proportion. I could say, well, I want to, I want to react three moles of propane, and so I'm going to need 15 moles of oxygen. And that's in the same proportion, 1 to 5, still here, 3 is to 15 as 1 is to 5. So again, anytime you're doing mole ratios, just use the balanced equation coefficients and then just do some simple mathematics on it. If I wanted to uh, react 3 moles of propane, I could ask the question how much CO2 would be produced. And so 3, uh, uh, 1 mole of propane is to 3 moles of carbon dioxide. So here I have 3 times as much propane as I have in the balanced equation. So I would end up with 3 times as much carbon dioxide being formed, or 9 moles in this case. And you can do the same thing with the water. If I were uh, noticing in the balanced equation, it's a 1 to 4 ratio. So again, if I started with 3 moles of propane, I would need 4 times as much water being formed, or in this case, uh, let's see, so 1 is to 4 as 3 is to 12 moles of water. 